Rare repair it. Okay, so to try to help fill up the box, the toolbox, I merge that with the toolbox and for the rods. I wonder if this is empty of screws. Uh, look at it. It is. So, I went on satisfactorycalculator.com, satisfactory-calculator.com, under the production planner, and the remaining 131.25 ingots that are on this 300 ingot smelter. I'm gonna turn into rotors, and I'm gonna merge those rotors. With that rotor line. And that rotor line splits off and goes back to the toolbox and runs the machines. And the thing that I figured out as to why this is a better setup, especially with using the the part machine to do the toolbox is you get rid of every bit of iron that you're producing and the supplemental machine like this section here produces the 84 iron worth of reinforced plates and puts it through the reinforced plates box when it does finally fill up the part box and finally fill everything back up to everything and everything shut off until you take parts out of the box. When it comes time to replace the parts in the box, the supplemental machine will continue to supplement the stuff for the machine that would otherwise be starved of the parts. And then it would shut off again but it's being used, I mean, it's mostly to just make sure the part box fills up faster, is what I'm telling myself. You could use the 84 iron for some other thing, but the big selling point of, of doing it this way is I get to put a check mark on that iron node and be like that iron node is done my frame factory is done my parts box that makes sheets rods and reinforced plates is done in a capacity to where it's never starved for parts it's not to that point yet because it still has to catch up to get to that point but because I am splitting off the outputs, so it's only getting half of the output. But as soon as this part box fills up, then it won't do that anymore. So, I think I'm gonna make a somewhat smaller rotor factory to just supplement the toolbox while also supplementing the rotor, the motor factory. 
while everything catches up and fills up the toolboxes. I call them toolboxes because they're the boxes that I get the base parts to make all the machines and everything else from. Which is different than a storage box that you just store stuff in. These refill themselves. I mean... And again, that's only getting half of the rods. But that will stop when the box fills up. And the box will fill up for rods much faster now that I have the rods from the rotors also going there. Which I didn't have that good work. So. I need 8.74 constructors for rods. So that's three sets of three, with the last one being an odd one. Oh, and I have the parts to do so. But. I don't have the parts to do the, uh, the connectors. So, I need 27 constructors for this. So, let me just do the rods. So, three sets of three for the rods. Oops.
And now I need the same thing, but the output is going to screws. You are out of, you are missing five screws.
You were out of screws.
You know, I just realized this is going to be an uneven split where I've got it connected. Damn it. There we go. And now I gotta connect the routers, rotors back to the rotor machine over here. Okay, what's wrong here? What did I do? Oh, I don't... What? Iron rods. Oh, it's just not connected to anything. Oops.
food. We are out of biofuel and into the battery, but it says it'll last like 20 hours, so. Wow, I'm using how much power? 3,000? The max of 4,500? Okay, so all of the 600 iron is now accounted for with both the frames and the motor factory having a supplemental plate and rotor factory that will kick on. It'll stay on the whole time, but the excess that would otherwise be overflow from any point for the plates or for the rotors would go in the box. And then it would automatically shut itself down and still maintain the rate for the assemblers making the frames and the motors. It's going to be a while before it fills up the iron rod box and the blade box and shifts the parts back over to the uh, to the rest of the factory, but. Now that's 600 iron in the distance there, all to run these six machines and those four machines. Well, no, those three machines, those three motor machines. Hit you through the status. While putting the intentional extra in the box. Because then when you take the stuff out of the box, those machines help keep the machines running at 100% while there's extra stuff to put in the box. So they don't ever slow down again. Uh, 
And the reason why I wouldn't just split them off from the main line that runs the machines anyway is, is it helps both things go faster. It helps the box fill up faster and it helps the machines fill up faster. Kind of getting satisfactory out. My brain, like, even when I try to take a break from the game, I'm just thinking about, well, I gotta put this connection here. Like, the thing I was thinking about before is every one of those, I gotta run to a box o over here. Well, not every one, but like, the ones like the plates and the rods and stuff. All the basic parts that I usually use in the toolbox. All of this stuff I always run around with that you always need all the time. That stuff. Because the plates are already full and the rods are already full in the sorting machine. And to have the sorting machine and to not connect it back to the output box is over here. And have to run over there to hope that maybe there's gonna be parts in there. No, it should only be in two spots. It should be in the overflow, if it happens to be in the overflow, or being siphoned from the sor sorter to fill up the parts box. And then fill up the parts box that fills up the parts box. But it's still only two main places. You come over here, grab parts, and don't worry about it. You want, got extra, like you got two pieces of wire and you don't wanna throw out, you just, throw it in this order you got like half a stack of whatever thing just throw it in this order it'll automatically be consumed by a machine stored put in the overflow or stored and then put in the parts box and you don't have to do anything but run over to the machine They all turn green all at the same time. I mean, it still has to distribute to all of the machines. Wonder if I could find the one power line that runs the whole thing. Oh, that's why it's off, is because it's overflowed on the rods. And it's overflowed on the rods because the plates are being diverted from this thing. But I think it, it finally happened. I think it finally filled up the line and filled up the parts box all the way to the machines, which is what the goal was. So they're not part starved. The thing that's consuming the parts is full. Finally. And I think the last thing I'm going to do in the video. I still haven't gone over to oil and done bullets and gunpowder and everything else but this is finally fixed this is the upgrade to the spaghetti factory by doing motors and doing frames you get all of the base parts to both split off and put in the parts box and to have running and making the motors and the frames Yeah. 
it's still gonna be a little while before the plate part box fills up. Pretty sure that's what is alien machine. Still need a cable machine. Could probably do that with the remainder of. Well, I'm gonna need a bunch of cable for computers, so let me just wait before I do that. No, it's just gonna take a long, long time to do the plate box. Which I could probably. Uh, I still gotta put motors over here, that's what I came over here to do. So, this empty one should be screws. This is screws. Right? No. That's rotors. This one was screws. No, that's smart plates. This isn't screws, is it? I just saw... What is this? I think it is screws. What? What is this? So now I gotta run motors over here and then I think I'm gonna call it a video. Although I should probably run smart plates over to the smart plate box so it backs up faster and then call it a video. The never ending there's always something else to do simulator. This isn't motors is it? Yep, uh, it's motors.
Mm. It's like a lasagna made with spaghetti. You know, I probably should have made that remaining iron into smart blades. Mm. No, it's better this way. I still have the 300 iron that's right over here that hasn't been messed with yet. Because that is a missing part on my parts that are being made list. The other thing I gotta do is connect this to the AI limiters, which is probably ran out of Katerium, ran out of quick wire. Um, all oh right, the plates. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. So now as I grab plates, it'll come from the sorter. And if the sorter is empty, it'll come off of the line from the machine. And both things will work together to fill up the box faster, which will fill up the line for the machine faster. And I think the base is finally done. There's one last thing that I have to do. No, I gotta connect the quick wire to the Kater. Ah! <laughs> and the thing that I haven't done the whole time, they used to sell the gas filters. I guess maybe just buy the fabric. They used to sell the gas filters, and that's, I used to buy them and the radiation filters from right there and bother to make them. 
Man, it's so nice having the sorter. This is my first playthrough where I've actually built, made an attempt at a full sorting machine. And it's working. I mean, it is sorted through so many items so much. But the nice part is I have a delivery bus for any incoming anything. It could be trains, trucks, drones. Anything can come in with anything. And it could dump into this order. And it would be filed someplace. And if it's something important, like I got to connect all of those, the plates, the rods, everything else. Rather than say it, I should just do it. Then it'll be done. So I guess I should do plates. This first one here is plates. I don't remember what anything is. That's rods. That's plates. You were out of five screws. You you were missing screws. And I should do rods. And that should be the last thing that has to come from the sorter back over to the parts box.
good. It's finally happening. It's, once it gets backed up to there, every plate is going to go to the machine until the plates on the machine get backed up to here, all the way back to the machines. Because the machines are producing more plates than the than they can uh, machines can consume. So. And it's not necessary to make more stuff than what it says per parts per minute from input out to output. It's just to get rid of the iron. It's just to supplement the machines while I take stuff out of the parts from the box. And so the parts box fill up faster all on their own without just being a dedicated parts machine. That covers all the criteria of all the stuff, including the parts box that is merged with the sorter and the machines making the parts. And I still haven't connected quick wire, which I should just do that, like, and then be done with it. And I still need gas masks, which I haven't done that. I think I've got biomass over here. Let me throw this mycelia in here. So I've been running around with that for about six hours. Now I gotta go all the way over from quick wire all the way over here. Which, yeah, I should probably merge the... I should have been done that, is uh, take the magic box from the beam constructors, because this just comes from the sorter. Eh, whatever. I'll do that later, because the amount of beams I've got over there would fill this up, and then I'd have overflowed beams. So I'll just leave that for now this is the one that has less quick wire on it and I don't remember how much sixty one twenty one eighty two forty three hundred three twenty So it makes 320 quick wire. I don't know how much I didn't check either. That was at each 300 an extra 20 that that works out really really well by accident that's crazy i don't even care about that 20 quick wire
Rare parrot. Nice, it's finally picking up speed.
Well, I'm going to the video. I've got all the machines online now. The last thing that I have to do to get everything perfect, which I'm not going to do it in this video, is turn down the amount of beams and pipes being made by just a small amount to where I'm not getting any overflow anymore. I mean, that's the simplest solution is I needed as much pipes and everything as I could get during Mark III and I didn't have splitters or a smart splitter or a storage thing or anything else. But I needed the parts in any way that I could get them here. Which meant taking them out and throwing them in a box and using them as I needed them. Make a handful of motors, make oil, make plastic. Get access to stuff that I'm used to having in other playthroughs anyway. Mark IV is pretty good. You don't really need Mark V for a lot of stuff right where I'm at, so doing the upgrade with Mark IV is good enough to get me through till Mark V. I forgot what the last thing to do was. Oh, the last thing to do was to regulate the amount of pipes and beams. But yeah, I'm going in a video.